are many lines and parts. We will do our best to even them out amongst you. There are no stars that have the most lines. If you would like to be a star, you must do it yourself. Now let's do voice projection on the liners. Everybody line up over there and begin with stating your name. Alex Hodgins. Gnarly. Chelsea Rambo. To be or not to be? Courtney Marshall. Like, too late. Jennifer Dorman. To be or not to be? <laughs> Carl Luba. Whoa, gnarly. Amy Clements. Like, oh my gosh. Justin Park. Like, oh my gosh. Christiane Slaughter. I'll get you, my pretty. Addie Hawkins. To be or like not to be? Crystal and Frank. Like, that is so cool. Amy Bell, like, totally awesome. Julia Marshman, to be or not to be? Jacob Branch, cool dude. Like, oh my gosh. Jessica Lytle, like, oh my gosh. Julie Smith, to be or not to be? Elizabeth Axtell, I'll get you my pretty. Rebecca Yarbrough, to be or not to be? Rebecca Edwards, help, help, I'm attacked for watching my dad's money. Sarah Sugarbaker, like, oh really? Stephanie Hansen, whoa, dude, look at all these pigs. <laughs> Christine, to be or not to be? Red from the classes, to be or not to be? Don't like them. I, like, I'm so sure. Kyla Delaney, oh my gosh, I forgot my sunglasses. I'm just saying, to be or not to be? I'll get you my freaking your little dog, too. <laughs> Renaud, like, I went to the gallery and spent all my online's money. Erin Gay, like, what are you staring at? God. To be or not to be, that is the question. And the later like, I'll cut you up and make room with you. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Myers, to be or not to be. Karen Myers. Oh, oh yeah. Lad. <laughs> Amy Howard, to be or not to be. Anne Sabin, to be or not to be. Joy Rakovic, whoa, calm down, Ted. Ayanna Langfield, like this is totally sad. Tasha Fuller, oh my gosh. Heather Hoffman, oh this is totally panic. Can it scare her? To be scared? Oh not to be scared. I'm scared. Then <laughs> Hastings, Evan Hastings, case to be or not to be. <laughs> and I'm Rachel Wadsworth. Excellent, I think we are ready to start the show. <laughs>
see? Hmm, I don't know. What do you see? Well, I see opportunities. Anticipations. Expectations. People. Okay, so what do you feel? Excitement. And enthusiasm. Butterflies in my stomach. Aw, uh, let's take a chance. Come on, it's okay. You're right, it's not so bad. In fact, it's really fun here on the lights. Yes, and warm. Okay. Come on, Carl, you can do it. Well, there's an awful lot of people out here. Okay, here I am. Just think of all the other actors that have performed on this very stage. Yeah, and all the different characters that have come to life right here on the stage. And after tonight, there will be even more actors and characters to add to them. In our first act tonight, we would like to take you a bit back in time to a fairy tale land. Yes, but with a twist. You see, we won't be leaving the present at all. In fact, we're transporting the fairy tales to our time. But before we do, we need a big opening number. Mrs. Bro Mrs. Brothers, Mrs. Powers, Chris and Ian insisted. The stage is all about make-believe and fun. And magic. That's the stuff the dreams are made of. Everyone has dreams. Yes, remember back to the time when the adults told you someday you could become president. And you believed. Back to the time when any dream will do. prize-winning horses. But father, I want to be a poet. Guards, take her away at once to begin turning my gold into hay. <laughs> oh, what am I to do? I cannot do this task. It's impossible. Can I help? Well, Grumpy, a little old tree steps appears and offers her out. She offers to take the gold out of secret door and return to the Northwest with it and purchase some eels in Washington hay. Definitely prize-winning hay. I'll take the gold out of secret door and return with some Eastern 
Washington hay. It's definitely prize winning hay. Okay, thank you. How can I ever thank you enough? The daughter thanks her. She leaves with as many bricks as she can carry. She soon returns. Well, all the prize winning hay in the prize winning barn with the prize winning horses. Okay, thank you. How can I ever thank you enough? Well, I could use the rest of this here gold for my campaign up north. What campaign? To save the old growth trees for the spotted owls, of course. Haven't you heard about it down here? Hmm, I guess so. Oh, and one other thing. What's that? You have to guess what kind of tree I am. I do? Just for fun, you know. So fitting. Evergreen? No. Dogwood? No. Fur? No. But finally, she did guess correctly. Maple? No. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. And that's the story of the king and one of his many daughters. <laughs>
a quick joke break for our sponsors. Why are zebras bad dancers? I don't, I don't know, know why. They have two left feet. What animal would a barber have as a pet? I don't know what. A hair. What's the difference between an elephant and a flea? I don't, I don't know, know what. An elephant can have fleas, but a flea can't have elephants. Why did the mother bear call the baby bear in? I don't know why. He's running around in his bare skin. <laughs> what do camels have that no other animal has? I don't know what. Baby camels. <laughs> why do frogs like baseball season so much? I don't know why. Because they like to catch flies. <laughs> what does a chimp use to fix a leaky faucet? I don't know, I know what. A monkey wrench. <laughs> Important. 
No, no problem, problem, Queenie. We'll be right back. Returned. I fear the worst. Don't worry, Queenie. We have more fighters. Yes, I know, but how am I to get the message to my sister? You could call in your royal thinkers. A good idea. Thinkers, please! Please solve my problem. I want you to take a message. I want to send a message to my sister. Whom do I send? It would be best. Chinese. You try your strongest neck. Very interesting. So the queen called her weakest of mind and loyalty. Weakest of mind and loyalty. You dork! I've already broken a leg! The hair! Well, I do! It hurts! So what? Please take this message to my sister. I got it! I got it! Oh, I missed! I got it! <laughs> you always get it! I don't care! I got it now! No. We should carry the message ourselves. We can do it, Queenie. Come on. Besides, what is there left to do here? Maybe being a yellow finger isn't so bad. I suppose you're right. So the queen and her page headed on their way. They slowly began walking across, across the bridge. Suddenly, the yellow finger jumped out together. But wait, it doesn't work. He looks at the page, up one side and down the other, and said, Hi, you are a page. Oh. Well, yes, I am. No, not a page! We hate pages! They're alternative! And square. Actually, that's rectangular. My two let us pass. Of course, be on your way. We don't need you. So happy that the queen of page headed on the way. They delivered the message to the bulletin about the wedding. Since everyone had left the right queen's queendom, her sister decided to share her queendom with her. Everyone attended the White Queen's wedding, and people in general were much happier since the mystery about getting past the dreaded yellow fingers had been solved. Today you can still hear people say, let your pages do the walking through the yellow fingers. <laughs> Thanks. 
So she climbs back on her motorcycle and I don't know where she went. See you, me See you later, Miko. Later, Wolfie. When she reaches her grandma's house, she knocks on the door. Granny, you in there? Yes, dear, I'll be right out. Well, Mama, what's up? Well, my burnt itis, arthritis, rock itis. Rock itis? Yes, dear, it's been a while since I've done me some rapping. Hey, that's why I'm here. I'm the babe with the wave and will to thrill. I've been feeling flat as a board about to be door. Chill, Mama, dear, and listen here. The girl with the hood always up to good. With the tail to tell you all. I don't talk to strangers or any other dangers. I dear, love them all. I love to dance every time I get the chance. Come on, Granny, let's go. that when you rap, you don't stutter. It sure is peculiar, awfully tubular, because I sure do hate to stutter. Rapping good if we did it like we should. We'd all live a lot longer. It's got the beat to get down in your feet. It makes you feel a lot younger. So come on, everyone. It's so much fun. fun. Do the red, riding, big rap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Soon the dorks go to life Samantha's with. Instead of going to work, 
they decide to make a bet of an old small airplane. Let's go make a bet of that old small airplane. The queen found out this method was still alive. She disguised herself as a young lady selling prostitute. When she reached the five dogs' house, she knocked on the door. Who's there? An old friend of the people who live here. So Samantha let the lady in, and all of a sudden, the lady crippled her in the neck with a needle. Samantha fell onto the ground. The queen ran back into the woods. <laughs> when the dogs came home,
See, she has so much twisted sense of humor. And the children have learned on her first day to never reach the bad paper sack brought from home by Miss Daisy. See, she brought this gooey stew made of earthworms, maggots, and frog legs. She pretended to reward the best student and realized she rewarded the worst. One model students were a bit suspicious. And when Johnny reached in that bag, wow, needless to say, doesn't go to the school anymore. Anyway, back to our scarf. She wrote this brown paper sack, only it was smaller this time. It seemed to only contain one item. She made this big to-do about how she had one special treat for one special student in the room. All the students were a bit nervous. They didn't want to win. She walked all around the room, looking at each one. Finally, she stops at White's desk. Ah, uh, yes, you are the winner. You who are quick to correct me when you mistakenly think I am wrong. You who think you know it all. Yes, you, Miss White, are the winner. Let's give her a round of applause. Yay! Yay! Oh, thank you. Would you mind if I open it later? No, no, not at all. <laughs> now, what was Credit Bright Girl? She saved the bay and tells after school when she was walking home by the pond. Oh, gosh, should I open it? What should I do? It's not polite not to open a present. What if it's a present like Johnny? Quack, quack, quack. It's off to our quarterback. To our pond, our happy pond. Quack, quack, quack. Hey, who are you guys? We are the seven ducks. Who are you? I am Winter White. There are seven of you. Wow, are you all related? Like, totally. See, Duffy's mom married my Uncle Jiffy, who's Quacky's mother's father-in-law, who by his first marriage had Steffi, and when Steffi was in the hospital because of his sinus infection, his mother met like Quacky's recently divorced father, who just happened to be... Okay, okay, she gets the pictures. Picture. Send the answer, yes, we're all related. Like I said, like, totally. Yeah, it was a long hospital stay, but my nose is much better now. Can't you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing here anyway? You haven't been doing anything at our pond, have you? Well, no. I love this pond. It's my favorite spot to pick flowers. Are we going to win or what? Come on! Hey! We are here. We, we have a guest and we haven't been properly introduced. Let's all line up and do roll call. Quacky! Wacky! Muffy! <laughs> Duffy! Oh, oh. Snuffy. Fucky. Sinker. <laughs> hey, what have you got in that bag? Would there happen to be any white bread in there, would there? Well, no. At least I don't think so. It's a present from my wicked old teacher. Oh, she can't be that bad. Well... Open it! Yeah, open yeah. it! Open it. Oh, just a can of Diet Pepsi. Okay, let's go somewhere. Hey, I think there's something in here. Wait, don't open it. Why not? Because, haven't you heard Pepsi's new slogan? Find a friend to be set for life. Yeah, and if you don't open it and call all the press on Pepsi, then you won't be put in jail for making it up. Yeah, and we can all sue Pepsi and be rich. Can we let a swimming pool? Two, one for us and one for you. Wow, you guys are the best friends a girl can have. I would have opened it and been arrested and everything. Now I can go to a private school and be set for life. Yay! Yay! Let's go make our phone call. Yay! They made all the magazine covers across the U.S. and Canada. They sold the court for $7.7 million. Red's new lucky member, and they all lived happily ever
take a bite, his son a coat, a multicolored coat to wear. could get some real friends. Then she could really get to know people and make some good friends. The father wanted to please his only daughter. I'd like to, to make you happy, but I've got a job to do. Soon on one of his trips to Japan, he met a wonderful woman whom he fell in love with at once. By the end of the trip, they were engaged to be married. Time passed, they were married, and she along with her two young children moved in with the girl and her father. Realizing this would not work, too many people in a one-room apartment, the father and his new wife purchased a nice home with their combined savings. However, as large purchases usually go, they ended up spending way more than they had originally intended. They explained to the children that money was tight, but to enjoy their new home. Well, money's tight, but let's enjoy it. The girl thought she would finally be happy. Wow, a real house. My own room, too. I wonder where I'll go to school. I guess I'll find out on Monday. But everything does not always work out the way we hope. Give me it! It's mine! Lots of you had to share! Now it's my turn! No, it's not! It's mine! Give me it! I'm gonna tell! I'm gonna tell! Hey, you little baby! Why? You need your mommy! Poor baby! Mom! Alex won't give me a turn! Jeez, you guys, can you keep it down? You're giving me a headache. No, we can't keep it down. He won't give me my toy bag. What is this world coming to? If we were in the real world, I could have you arrested and brought up on charges for, uh, stealing. Yeah, that's it, stealing. I'd have them throw the book at you. Boy, book at me? Like, what kind of book? Like a dictionary or something? No, you doorknob. That would be too nice. Probably something like... Like one of those books from the Adams Family Library. Probably one that says hurricanes on it. Okay, okay, the toy's yours. Mom, hey mom, is there really books like the Adams Family got? See, you just gotta know what to say. Now you can have some peace. Boy, that was pretty mean. Yeah, but that's my job, you know. I gotta keep up my image. Later. <laughs> Things are a lot different here than I thought they would be. I really can't wait for school, though. Monday finally came and the girl went to school. Immediately upon walking in, she noticed a sign that reminded everyone to come to the prom on Friday night. The girl was excited. She had never been to a prom before. She met several nice people that day. They ate lunch together. Everyone talked about the prom. Oh, it'll be so, 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 so fun. My girl, fawn pink with ruffles up here and lace all the way down the back. All the way down the back? No way. way. My dress is yellow with this low cut neckline. My mother didn't want me to get it. She said it was too revealing. I loved it. <laughs> hey, Cindy, what does your dress look like? Mine? 
Well, oh, you probably haven't been able to go shopping for it yet, just moving in and all. That's right. In fact, I don't even know where to go shopping. If... Oh, definitely go to Tsukuchi's on Rodeo Drive, right downtown. Okay, that sounds great. Anyway, I'm so excited, I can hardly stand it. Just think. Mr. Smith, the principal's son is coming too. Work has it, he's like, uh, no. A real dream. I've seen his picture once. No way! Wait, so I have this cousin whose best friend, Delta Partner's twin sister, actually got him to sign her annual at the end of the eighth grade. See, she was a cheerleader and stuff, and. That hardly counts. I mean, if your picture, like, that was beyond the other. Yeah, but he was fine then too. Ring, ring. I'll bring his picture, Mara, just to prove it. I thought you said it was your cousin's picture. It is, but she photocopied it for me when she heard he was coming here. The girl didn't know what to do. She knew money was tight, so how could she ask for a new formal dress? And yet she wanted to go to the prom so badly. She thought that her life might end if she wasn't able to go, but she needed a dress to go in. And then there was the matter of the prince, Ippol's son. Wow, a prince of a son. But what about a dress? I could make one. Yeah, the satin lace and... Oh, but who am I kidding? I don't know how to sew, and I don't see any little birds or mice around to make me a beautiful dress. <laughs> Guess I'll just have to ask them. So the girl asks her father a new mother. Nothing really fancy, just... A new formal dress for the prom. She can tell by the looks in their eyes that they feel badly, but there just isn't any money to be had. We'd like to help you, but we just don't have enough money. Time goes on. The week is coming to an end. It is Friday. The girl becomes more and more depressed. Her father asks if she'd like to go out to pizza with the family. You want to come out to pizza with the family? No. She declines. Instead, she sits in her room thinking about the fun she'll miss. Her family leaves for pizza. Suddenly, there is a knock on the front door. Suddenly, there is a knock on the front door. Knock! Now, who could that be? Oh, hello? Uh, hi. I'm Mr. Wanamaker, and I'm looking for stage 17. What? I'm here with the costumes for the pirates. Okay, what pirates? The ones in the show. Did I miss the show again? Which show? The Pirates of Penzance, of course. Oh, you mean the one at Capitol High School? Yes, yes, the Capitol High School in Olympia, Washington. So here I am. Where are all the pirates? Well, actually, you did miss that show. It was last weekend. Oh, no, I can't believe it. I don't do costumes for the money. Find you. I don't do costumes for the money. It's to make all the kids happy. I love to see their faces when they put on my costumes. It's just about the best payment in the world. And now I've missed another one. Oh, don't feel badly. There are several more shows in the Olympia really soon. Are there? Oh, yes. I wonder, can I trouble you for something to drink? I haven't had much in quite some time. Can I trouble at all? Say, what are you doing home on a fine Friday night such as this? Um, just sitting I'll sit around. right down here and tell old Wanamaker all about it. Oh, I wouldn't want to trouble you. Come on now. Oh, it's just awful. You see... So the girl told Mr. Wanamaker all about living with her father, his marriage, the new house, the kids at school, her new siblings, oh, everything. And especially the dress part. And so, to make this long story short, I'm here tonight because I simply cannot go to the prom without a proper dress to wear. Whoa, I think I can help you. You've been so nice to me. It's the least I could do. You can? It isn't much, but I think it will do. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Here it is. Ha. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it does come with one catch, you see. I must be on my way in exactly four hours, and it's eight o'clock now, so you need to be home by... Midnight! I know, I know, or else it will turn into a pumpkin, right? Huh? Yes, well, I'll be back by then or a little thereafter, so you can be on, the, on your way. Are there any bows? Oh. So the girl puts on the dress and heads out the door to the prom. Her father brought a house a block from the high school, you see, and it's a good thing, too. Anyway, she goes to the prom, and of course you know who she means. Yes, the principal's son, Peter. 
Of course, they hit it off right away and danced nearly every dance together. And when midnight came, the girl was responsible and came right home. She did have to duck out quietly. It was during a speech by the principal about responsible driving, etc. So unfortunately, she was unable to say goodbye to Peter. Home she came, danced actually, all the way home. She was so happy. Oh, thank you for such a wonderful night. It would never have happened if it weren't for you in this great dress. Thank you. Oh my, I seem to have lost one of your bows. It's okay, I have lots of bows. You keep this one as a reminder of the fun you've had tonight. Oh, and I'd like to thank you for everything as well. You didn't tell me you had the Disney Channel. What a swell time I've had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and your family's all home, and I explained the whole thing to them. Nice family you've got. Thanks again. What a swell time indeed. Now, it just so happened the girl left her bow at the table she and Peter were sharing. He did find her bow, and he did want to see more of her, so he made arrangements to finish high school at his father's high school. After all, his father is the principal, and this is what happened Monday at school. Cindy and her small circle of friends were talking in the lunchroom cafeteria. I heard Kevin and you really hit it off. Yeah, I heard you could get 17 out of 20 songs together. Didn't your friend ever get tired? Cindy ate her lunch quietly while the others chattered about their dates. Suddenly, Peter walked down the hall. There fell a long silence over the cafeteria as all the girls stared admiringly at his eyes. There was a chorus of sighs from the girls as he walked. <sighs> oh my god, he looks great. Me too. Three. I'll never forget that look. Me either. He's such a nice size. <laughs> Suddenly, Peter tripped over an abandoned chair. He sure is cute and a lot of clutch. All the other girls laughed as Peter fell, except Cindy. She got up and she got up and carefully walked over to him. He was so happy to see her, he threw all his embarrassment. The two became a pair, and all the girls were jealous as ever, but always nice. They decided to hold off on making any long-term plans, but they both intend to go on to college. Of course, that is another story. The end. Which is pretty creepy looking. Yeah, those sores on her nose were pretty scary. Not to mention those scabs. Ew. Wasn't it great the way Arnold Schwarzenegger came swooping down and pushed the old witch into her own oven? And when he mm -hmm. said, Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> I sure would like to live in that candy house. Yeah, me too. Hey, it's kind of dark out here. That's because it's night. Don't worry, this is the shortcut. Which way, this way or that way? No, it's that way. No way, that's the way to the swamp. Swamp, there's a swamp? Don't worry, I'll swim down and save you. <laughs> yeah, you and what armies? Ribbit, 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 What was that? I don't know. Some shortcut. This is crazy. What are we doing at 11 o'clock at night? Taking a shortcut. Calm down, calm down, everybody. Let's do what I always do.
Okay, down boy. Hey, what's that?
They just can't get any good bad guys these days. Help! Oh, help! Someone help me! Help! Oh, help! Someone help me! Adam, ma'am, can I be your assistant? Oh, well, yeah. Honestly, I ain't escaped from these drastically bad guys who are trying to figure out what comes after 17. Good thing I have them by then. It must be the sheep. Shall we go, Miss Lily? Ah, uh, yes. My hero! <laughs> Let's go ask a smart person. Yeah! <laughs>
What if I can't dance? What if the band is terrible? What am I going to do? I know I'm smart, and I know I studied for this test, but this time is the difference between an A and an A+. Plus. What am I going to do? I really like Scott's eyes. Brian has a great sense of humor. Brian Brian has a great sense of humor, and Scott has that cool car. What am I going to do? The big game is coming up, and I have to do my best. The big um, scouts will be there. Did these situations sound familiar? Do what these people did. They talked to the famous Sadian. He helped them with their future, making those often hard decisions that affect the rest of your lives. He can help you, too. Call 1-800-SAUDION. <laughs> Fees only $5 a minute. Um, parents get your children's permission before dialing. <laughs>
Hello, this is Rebecca Edwards, and I am reporting to you live from the most elite mall in the world. I'm here at the Galleria, where the unthinkable is about to happen. The prestigious restaurant called Taco Pub has come into some financial difficulties. This Friday will be the last day it will be open. Taco Pup is a local hangout for most of the population. It caters both kids from the valley as well as the surfers. The atmosphere, to say the least, is quite interesting. Let's see if we can find somebody to talk to. Sure. But like anybody's like, everybody's like, oh yeah. Right, like where they expect us to meet. Right. And how about you? Really, Becky, this whole thing is like so trivial. I mean, all I have to do is have the phone, it's like not to work. Yeah, like if they would just give us the keys, we could open that up for everyone. Yeah, like you are gonna get up early, right, in which lifetime? Like I know we can keep it open like all the time. Sure, then we could like always come here and it would like never be closed. Thank you. Right. And how about you? Us? Well, actually, we're new here. We're from Washington State and we just moved here. We never fit in until. Like, I don't look at this cool accent. Do you like it? <laughs> nice. But how about. Do you have any comment on the taco cup? And how about mine? Like, I didn't know people really talk this way. I am so sure. <laughs> <laughs> And how about you? Two? What channel is this? Channel 5. Oh, hi, Mopsy! Like, oh my god. There's thousands of people out there, and I don't have my makeup. I could just die. Not thousands, but cool. I think TV sets are so rad. Can I have your autograph? Uh, who are you again? I'm a reporter here to cover the story about. Okay, dude, like, when is it our turn? Yeah, like, we've been waiting almost two minutes. I'm so sure we got by the pieces and wait for someone like you. Let's go. Thank you, ladies. And how about you? With me, Bibi, and take away my plastic. I'm in a total loss for words. <laughs> like, yeah, this is major. It's not like people like us can be seen just anywhere now. For instance, we can't hang out at the NW. I'm so sure. Like, gag me with straw. No, gag me with red beer. Ew! Ew! Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for your time, ladies. Thank you all for your time. Feel free to go back to whatever it was you were doing. Hey, maybe it's from the credit card scandal. Excuse me, what credit card scandal? Oh, you know, as soon as anyone starts accepting plastic from those bonacious bimbos, especially for food that's meant for consumption, you're heading for rough water. Yeah, like that, like that time off Big so when the 50 miles an hour winds. Yeah, and nobody, not even Big Wave Bodie would go out there. 
Yeah, but we did. Gnarly. And we're still here to prove it. It was so tubular. Especially if we didn't get back on shore from those dog faces. He means those nice girls. What did you do that for, dude? This is all like live TV. We promised we wouldn't tell. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. Yeah, but why? <laughs> You know where you heard it first? This is Rebecca Edwards live on local at the Galleria. See you again next time. said I should buy lunch on Wednesday. They had Brussels sprout casserole surprise. I was, I even told him I was allergic to Brussels sprouts. Just look at me. Ha, go to the prom set, Sa. I went. And the band didn't even show up. And we had a flash flood. <laughs> when I... I can't believe it. Psychic says nothing about calculus, differential problems, or I would have studied those. I can't believe it. Psychic saw said go for Scott in his nice car. I, w I did, and it turns out Scott broke up with me. Psychics. I already, I already told Brian, and it turns out he never wants to see me again. Psychic saw never said anything about it me sleep, slipping on the ball in warm-ups. I never even got to play. What are you guys doing? We're supposed to see that. Where is he? We want to see him. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, uh. Um, 3,000 hours, or 3,000 minutes time, $5 a minute. Hmm. Maybe I should double the price. Uh-oh. Say okay. goodbye. <laughs> It's hard to believe, but we've made it to the end of our show. We hope you've enjoyed as much as we have. You know, you guys, there are a lot of people out in our audience. Yep. And this really was a great show. That's true. Hey, maybe we should take it on the road. The road? Where's the road? I like the stage a lot. No, that means we should go traveling with our show. Oh. Thanks, everybody, for coming. And here we are for the last time. Olympia School District Summer School Magic, Magic Theater. Theater. Thank <laughs> you.